Hello, Mythic Rare here, and this is our next installment of Vinny Diamond Painting Mayhem. And this is the new kid on the block. Well, not necessarily new kid on the block, but it is Diamond Art Club. They have just entered the chat for many diamond painting kits. This is the set of six makeup mini dazzles, as you can see. Um, ooh, unleash your inner artist. This is their this is their new branding. It looks like they have these like this, so that you can um, hang them up in the stores. I don't want to like rip the ribbon. Maybe I can. I don't know. I just think that the ribbon was so pretty. But yeah, it's stuck on there really good. I'm going to have to Hmm. Hold, please. Okay, and we are back. Um, yeah, it's kind of a shame about the ribbon because that was a really cute piece of branding. But Diamond Art Club, do what likes you sparkle. I love how they did that. Um, the kit includes four by six inch canvases, times six superior quality diamonds. Twist putty and pick applicator with putty and multi placers. Stackable diamond painting tray. Ooh. Inventory sheet with pre cut sticker labels, 15 reusable baggies. Oh, and then that's how you use their new kit. So I'm wondering if the putty and the actual size of the tray along with the pen are the same size that you get in the regular full size kits. Um, if you do want to see me unboxing a full size one with the new tool kit, go ahead and head on over to that. I So I absolutely love this. Thank you for your purchase. Tips and tricks, use a beads container, frame your canvas. Kit contents. Step-by-step -step instruction, save 20%. And you want to know what is so interesting is that I placed this order long before I got to unbox Dragon Spirit because I ordered these back when the Mini Dazzles first launched. I want to say like, I don't know, around Memorial Day. But because these are smaller kits, the tray is consequently smaller as well. I do believe that the one from uh, Dragon Spirit is twice the size. Actually, you know what? Dragon Spirit is still out from when I filmed earlier. I'm going to go and get the toolkit from that. Okay, so here is my toolkit from Dragon Spirit, and we can see that the tray is twice the size. It appears as though the kit contents for the rest of it are the same, with the exception of the putty. I think that the uh, putty is a more recent addition just based off of customer feedback. So yeah, that pen is the same. Baggies, putty for pen refill, but no wax in the other one. Oh, and then 
shame on me. There is also a seven place here as well. So at least if you are watching these and you haven't had a chance to make a purchase with Diamond Art Club recently, if you have, if you're planning on making a purchase, you know, in the near future, just know that any of their more new releases, they're probably going to give you the exact same toolkit, albeit with bigger tray, and then also with wax. Okay, so now that we have that all tidied up, let's see what we have here. Oh, how fun. I didn't realize you were upside down though. Okay. So there is our set of six. I love how they have designed this to match the outside ribbon that went over the packaging. Oh, and then this whole thing is for your logbook because then you can have a start date and an end date. Neat. You know, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club, and I just like love how even the canvas is sparkly. It appears to feel exactly like their bigger canvas. It's just that um, all of these do not have finished edges. They are all poured glue though. Oh, and you want to know what's so funny is all of them have like the whole reminder you can take 10% off of your next order. Um, Yeah, I love how it's all like makeup and stuff. So just like the bigger canvases, they are poured glue and the same quality glue that you would expect from them. Oh, so they're not full drill, they're, they're partials, but oh, that is neat. So the branding is on the sheet and then that makes them super giftable because then once you peel this off, you're just left with a nice clean border and then you can pop these into a frame. I love that. Like, I so love that. That's nice. Wait. Oh my gosh, y'all. I think the rumors are actually true. all the Z's. They're all special. They're all square. But are they all? Oh my gosh. Yes, they are. I'm not going to go into too much depth with them, but I am going to go through a once over because those are fairy dust. Like the whole train is fairy dust. Uh, turn down those earbuds. I'm sure... Oh, and they are all, like, individually sectioned off based off of the painting. Like, the mini canvas, and they're going in order, too. Yes. So I'm just going to open up one of them to see because I don't want to take like a million years. But this is supposedly the one for the compact. Yep. 
just like, holy cow, guys. All fairy dust. Can't really see it much on the beige ones, but the pink ones, yeah, that shows up. Okay, awesome. So now that, yes, indeed, they are all fairy dust, we have our proof, and we do not have any evidence to suggest otherwise, let me tidy all this up, and then we'll get on into my second set of mini dazzles. Thank you for your patience. This is my other set that came with my order. Mini Dazzles 50 Diners food. And then this one was kind of weird because the ribbon for this one, like, just came loose. Like, ah. The other one, it's like the glue really held on and I had to uh, rip it. So I am expecting you to be exactly the same as the other one because you were ordered and all that at the same time. Okay, cool. Yeah, so they do actually come with the seven placer. I just, for whatever reason, left it in the bag for the very last kit. Uh, but yeah, same exact kit contents. I don't know, is it just you or is it like, that isn't really like 50s diner food. I mean, yeah, sort of, kind of. But to me, like, all that stuff, like hamburgers, hot dogs, um, ice cream, pizza, fried chicken, and tacos, that's all just, like, in general, um, fast food. That's, <laughs> yeah. Now, if, um, Diamond Art Club ever decided to make, like, a 50s and 60s inspired set where it was like like the retro style convertibles or like I would have a retro style convertible I would have a jukebox I would have a pair of roller skates and saddle shoes um, the movie star glasses. Or like how the Letterman jackets, how those are starting to come back into fashion. Yeah, like if if we were to really and truly have like a 50s and 60s set, like that would be it. Oh yeah, and then record player, because of course. <laughs> like you were... You were somebody if you had, like, a record player in your car back then. Um, anywho, here is our sticker sheet. I love how it's... Ooh, so we don't have all fairy dust. It looks like we're going to have some crystals, or maybe a crystal. And then we're going to have some regular ABs. Interesting. Here is our tips and tricks again. I don't think anything different is going to come in this one, but just to like open it up and see. No, nothing. Nothing else is going to come. I do like how, um, 
it was transitioned to where the sticker sheet becomes the pamphlet that's going to be in those inserts in the newer style kits so that it prevents from wrinkle because that's really like my only misgiving because it's not you know currently inside with the paintings right now is that it could potentially get wrinkled and chipping so yes hamburger chicken hot dog, ice cream, ooh, pizza, and a taco. And I mean, just the whole sticker sheet floating loose kind of a thing. That is really and truly like my only nitpick. I have to order some more of these mini dazzle kits like not like right now right now but you know sometime in the future i'll have to order them and see how they compare and contrast to these like first iterations because uh for the flowers and everything like that sold out way too quick but um these two were the ones that I was able to purchase. So they're all like individually sectioned off according to diamonds. I absolutely love that. And I am just going to go ahead and open up this one because I see crystals. one gets a crystal and it gets an AB. Interesting. I bet that's for the ketchup. I bet the brown is like for actual burger meat and the buns. I bet that yellow is for the cheese. If not the cheese, then mustard. Oh yeah, there's our crystal. And then the, all the rest of these are fairy dust. So yes, uh, comment down below if you think that improvements have been made since Diamond Art Club is first releasing these uh, people from the future, or if they have decided to forego things, add things with the toolkit, please go ahead and let me know so that others can decide whether they want to buy these or not as well. And we will see you later. Bye!